Kidman, Julie. You've assembled quite the resume, I see. They taught you to read at the police academy? I'm impressed. Your attitude won't be necessary today. What is this place? Why am I here? You've been arrested, Miss Kidman. And you're currently being detained. I'm sure even you could decipher that. That's not what I asked. This isn't a regular interrogation room. They don't give you cushy chairs when you're about to be sent to lockup. No current address. On your own since 14, a runaway it seems. Quite impressive you've made it this long without coming to your senses. If your street smarts are that keen, I'd imagine you'd have turned yourself around by now. It's more about survival. You think I'm pissed I got caught? At least I get free food in jail. It's all good to me. What if I told you that today could be different for you? You're a smart kid, you've got nothing to lose, no one to miss you. A person with those qualities could be open to very specific opportunities. What are you saying? You offering me a get out of jail free card or something? Not quite that, but something close. I'm listening. I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. The air feels so heavy in here. After months of secret subterfuge and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is... Elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben... Comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. Patients emerging from the stem are becoming more erratic. The pathologies seem to be amplified by the experience now. Even worse, patients now seem to experience each other's psychological trauma. It's as if the user's deepest fears linger within the encephalon of the system, even after the session is over. The most concerning thing are their most recent statements. 
Every single patient claims to see a hooded figure slowly approaching them. Could it be him? His consciousness existing as a ghost in the system. My curiosity has never been piqued like this. I want to know. I want to see what they see. But it's too risky. For now.